but it doesn't matter because we're bringing you guys another Fortnite video. Basically what happened was I had to help out Papa Changa doing some stuff around the house and it pretty much took up all day, literally from when I was woke to when I was asleep. But don't worry boys, Papa Changa isn't in need of any help anymore. We're going to be focusing on videos once again. But anyways, today, if you guys read the title of the video, you know what we're doing today. We're doing a vending machine only challenge. Now there are some like rules and some things that I got to explain first. But first of all, if you don't know what the vending machines are, which I uh, sure you probably do. So basically, if I were to get a certain amount of materials, I would be able to turn them in and get like a certain weapon or a certain healing item or something like that from the vending machine. So what we're going to be doing is the first or the only vending machine challenge or like, you know what I mean? The vending machine only challenge. There we go. I don't know what I said before, but it didn't sound right. The hard thing about this challenge is the vending machines aren't consistent as in they spawn in different locations every single time. They do spawn in the same locations, but some games they're there, some games they're not. It's just like chests, you know, like some of the chests, they don't spawn in the same locations every time, but sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Same thing with vending machines. So listen guys, this is the thing. Right now, like I'm not going to be able to have enough materials for the vending machine. So I'm going to pick up a gun and I'm going to be able to defend myself. But as soon as I get enough materials for the vending machine, whenever I find one, that is when the challenge really starts. Now, if you're wondering why I do this, I am just not going to let myself get killed easily by anybody. And look, the vending machine's right here. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Sorry. So we already have a vending machine. We just got to be able to rack up materials. There's a bunch of people around me. So hopefully we're going to be able to survive. I don't know, boys. Let's just see what happens. All right. I'm going to focus up because I really want to do this challenge. I've actually recorded for this video multiple times. This is probably my seventh time recording for this video. Look at that. Impulse nades for 300 brick, regular weapon or like AR for 300 metal and uh, SMG for 300 wood. No, honestly, guys, we could work with that. But we know there's another vending machine here so we could see your odds. Well, not our odds, but you know, whatever, you know, we can get. Come on, bro. He was perfect. I gotta be careful, man. I really want to like spawn at retail all by myself so I can just loot up. There's another vending machine spawn that spawns right here, but it's not here. As I'm really scared, to be honest, I don't have a shotgun. I'm just gonna start looting right now. I actually don't remember which one I needed. Oh, what the frick you doing? Okay, that was interesting. I, I actually don't know if there was anybody else here. So we're just going to start looting up now. I'm going to go back just to make sure I'm gathering up the right material. I think I think I'm going to get the AR and the SMG. I don't know if I'm going to get impulse nades because I don't really think I need it. So I need 300 metal and 300 wood. Let's get it, boys. All right. You know, retail is a great place for metal. Great place for wood. And as soon as I get these materials, like I said, guys, I'm going to be dropping all the guns that I have. Every single thing, even the med kit. We're dropping everything. And there's also another thing I forgot to mention about this challenge. Okay, even if I kill somebody with the vending machine i'm not able to pick up the guns that they have because you know that'd be like cheating bro what if i killed somebody with like a scar and an rpg and a freaking everything you know like it'd be cheating bro but what i will allow myself to do is if i kill somebody i'll allow myself to pick up their meds okay not weapons but meds all right that's that's like the kind of giveaway all right you know we'll keep it a little bit fair now the thing that sucks about these vending machines man is it's really a sacrifice bro like you know without this wood that i have right now i would really have no materials and considering i'm giving it up you know i'm gonna have to loot up again just so i'm able to build and stuff you you know? It's all right, boys. We're on our way there. 300 metal, man. Kind of ridiculous. It's okay. We just got the wood. All we need is the metal. All right, boys. One more car. One more car. Maybe two. Maybe two. All right, boys. There we go. We got it. Let's go get our weapons. All right. Now, just to show you, okay, I'm just dropping it all. Literally every single thing, bro. Everything. Even the med kit. I don't want to drop the med kit. All right. I did find it off of somebody, but I didn't kill him with the gun that I got. All right. So, boom. 300 metal. Oh, it's blue. Oh, that's sick. Oh, 300 wood? Let's go. Okay. I didn't expect this gun to be blue. I thought it was going to be gray or whatever like just a regular ar all right that's good that's good so i didn't know that it was like rare see because like i've never used these vending machines before i actually used it once for a sniper but you know a sniper the lowest it can be is a rare so right now we gotta loot up again for two reasons one so we're able to build and survive and then number two in case we run across another vending machine i really hope we run across another vending machine even though i don't know like all the spawns i just hope we run across one and they have like a shotgun in it or any type of healing bro because that could literally save lives out here dog oh man this challenge bro is literally just stacking up materials from start to finish because you don't know if you get into a vending machine like what if you want is brick or what if you want is metal you got to get it all man i don't know so right now since we have a little bit of time to ourselves i'm gonna ask you guys a quick question all right now that vending machines have been out for a couple days which feels kind of weird man it feels weird i wanted to make this video the first day it came out but really guys like how do you guys feel about vending machines do you guys like it do you think it's kind of useless i think personally the idea behind it is a great idea i don't know how useful it's gonna be because you know it's actually like a lot of materials that you gotta let go just to be able to get like a weapon or something that you could probably find off of somebody that you 
that you kill later on in the game, you know? So, like, I don't know. I don't know how useful it is, but I definitely think the idea is there. Like, it's a really good idea. But we'll see. I do like it for the most part. And I'm actually pretty sure there's a vending machine spawn in this, uh, like, little factory thing over here. So, we're gonna make our way over here and see if we actually gotta work for something. And who knows, man? Maybe we'll run into somebody. We're probably bound to run into somebody soon. There's a vending machine there. I think the vending machine spawns right here, but I'm not sure. I don't know the spawns. I don't know if I said that or not, but uh, I'm really just kind of winging it here, boys. So many people could be mad at me if it's not there. It's just because I haven't been able to play, man. There's already 20 people left and we didn't even fight anybody with the challenge, man. All right, guys, I'm auto running. I'm pulling up a map online right now to see where more vending machine spawns are. There's actually a vending machine spawn in Salty Springs, so we're going to be making our way back there. Oh, where? That's where. Oh, come on, bro. I don't want to fight a builder. I don't want to fight a builder. I don't want to fight you. Dude, this kid is like the most passive player I've ever seen, dog. Like, holy lord. This challenge sucks. Like, what are you doing? He's just sitting in a base. I don't know, man. That's so no. I like, I did, bro, I didn't want to build because there's like no reason to build if he's playing passive, you know, but like there's nowhere. I, wow, it's so stupid. Yeah, this challenge guy is not really a fan of it, to be honest. You know, you know what? I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, okay? We had a bad start, okay? That's so stupid. Like, I don't even know what to say, man. Like, obviously, I could have built, I could have survived, but I didn't want to run through all my materials, bro. I thought like this kid wouldn't be such a loser, bro, when he would have ran out of his base, all right? man no but for real guys like you, you guys saw that right he was playing so passive bro like he literally sat there like his life depended on it and there was like floating ar there i don't know if you saw that but it's all right man you know i guess that's just how people play video games these days you know they just sit and wait until something else happens but you know it's okay it's okay you know i i can't really complain i guess technically i was doing the same thing even though i didn't have a shotgun you know i had to keep that range but <laughs> you know it's okay you know why guys you know why because this game this game yeah this one right here yeah that's right this right what did i say this right but yeah that's right man we're gonna make this game count all right this is the game all right we're gonna go retail once again there's two vending machine spawns there so like they kind of have to spawn there right all right retail row men don't do me dirty bro don't do me dirty so listen guys while we got some free time i'm gonna let you guys know this right now okay or i'm gonna tell you this right now i should say if you guys think this challenge is easy okay i want to see you try it all right it's hard man it's hard all right now of course it could be done i believe in it but it is definitely hard Okay, so once again, that doesn't count towards the challenge, guys. Okay, we know this. Someone has a shotgun near me. I'm chasing that kid, bro. You guys, notice how my shotgun hit him for 1 HP? All right, now that he's goner, let's go back. All right, so there's some more people here, guys. So we might have to, you know, bang it out real quick. All right, never mind. Uh, when I say bang it out, I really mean miss every single bullet. Oh my god, did I kill them? Oh, okay, that really could have been bad. I gotta chill with the killing. Okay, let's find these freaking vending machines. Oh. I didn't know that was at me. Okay, guys, now that I finally found this vending machine and people are gonna stop killing me like this dog or shooting at me, I should say, because I know I'm still alive. But now we could actually take this challenge on, am I right? Okay, let's see. 300 for a blue AR. Okay, 300 metal. Definitely getting that. 100 or 300 wood for a impulse nade. 300 brick. Okay, so we gotta get 300 brick, 300 metal. I don't really know how I'm gonna get the brick here, but we're gonna try because, you know, I don't wanna just run out and do this challenge with only one gun, bro. That doesn't sound fun at all. So that's good to know. Right now, you know, I could still stack up on uh, whatever I got right now wood you know actually I gotta check the other spawn I gotta check the other vending machine I gotta make sure that there's nothing there because what if uh you know I could get something else dog okay no no vending machine here they probably have it to like where one spawns in one place and the other doesn't spawn in the other you know what I mean I don't know probably not but uh we're just gonna be stacking up boys we're gonna be stacking up yeah guys how the frick am I supposed to get brick here I think I have to like break down an entire house you know we're getting real lucky out here that uh retails in the safe zone though oh my god bro this thing has a hundred thousand HP and I'm, I'm dead I'm dead he's just literally sitting behind this wood here bro all right you sit there i'll sit here i'll heal it's okay with me bro it's okay with me okay oh god i gotta be careful guys come on. this is unfair now i'm just fighting person after person Oh. 
What? How did he shoot me? Oh my god. Guys, okay, this is not fair, man. I just had to waste all of my materials. This is outrageous, bro, and I should have seven kills, okay? Dude, I feel like so many people are gonna get mad at this video because, like, I'm not even using the vending machine, but you guys see, this is the problem. If I didn't pick up these guns, there's no way I would have survived, man. I literally should have killed seven people here, okay? It's hard, man, and then, like, now I gotta loot this kid. Hopefully, this kid just had a bunch of materials. I'm just saying, guys, all right, this challenge would be pretty fun if, you know, I could spawn somewhere secluded without people doing this, and if you guys are wondering why i'm not spawning somewhere secluded it's literally because you can you know these things they spawn in a random place every single time oh my god guys this place is bodied with c4s i don't know why i said bodied bro we didn't even get enough materials in the first circle because of all the people i had to fight man and retail row was at the very end of the bus bro i thought nobody was gonna be here whatever i guess i'll go back to this thing hundred thousand hp man dude i'm actually hitting so many circles what the frick oh my god that doesn't give you any materials i'm such a lick that's so lame why the frick does it not you know what whatever guys all right we got 320 brick wood metal right now okay we're making our way over gotta drop all these lovely weapons that i would love to have but i can't oh wait the vending machine is in the storm isn't it oh uh, yep it is oh wait no it's not okay we're good we're good we're good guys this challenge man it's something else bro i think this is gonna be the last uh game on it and i wish i could have that other uh whatever that thing is the freaking smg but i just don't have enough time to get metal or brick why do i dude it's confusing me man mentally i don't know why this thing doesn't give you any brick any metal I meant, oh, my mind, it hurts. Okay, boys, we're still racking up just in case we run into another vending machine. You know, we gotta be prepared at all times. Oh, you know, and I would love to just go and fight people, bro, but I'm so unprepared for it. Oh, there's somebody in this house. He has a shotgun, great. Just what I wanted to hear, a shotgun. Okay, he's one shot, right? I, I didn't I thought he fell I hate this challenge I actually hate this challenge dude first of all where did big bad man 108 come from dog bro I'm annoyed I thought he fell down so like I thought I had time to build but I should have just placed it right away either or man that's so annoying I'm so annoyed oh guys oh listen guys okay that's gonna wrap up this challenge though I'm not gonna play another one this was actually so stressful to make bro and the only reason it was stressful is not that it's hard like the other parts you know where I could use whatever it's just you know getting to that point was stressful man you know just trying to make a video I know like if I were just to do this challenge, you know, eventually I'd end up getting, you know, a really good position. I'd end up winning the game, but that's not really how I do things on my channel. You know, I play a couple games and we see how it goes. You know, I show you guys the struggle. I show you the process of the challenge. But anyways, guys, thank you for anybody who watched this video. Once again, I'm sorry I missed my uploads the other days, but we're going to be back on that by the way. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on this video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I upload every day or as much as I possibly can. If you guys want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, all of my social media, Video links are in the description down below. Feel free to check me out. But anyways, guys, I know you're getting tired of hearing my voice, so that's pretty much it for me. Peace. Phase up.